So this is day one of the job challenge and I'm in front of a courthouse in Payang Nar in Inner Mongolia. Today I'm going to learn about what it entails to be an assistant to a judge. This is the first time I get to go into a courthouse in China. It's kind of cool. Basically, the function of the moving court, as I understand it, is each one of these red dots is like a collection point for cases. Each one of these colored areas is a different town. So villagers in these remote areas, when they have something to litigate, they have to consult with the collection office and try to resolve the case in these black looking courthouses, which is like the lower courts. When villagers cannot attend that lower court, that is when the moving court goes to the villages to try to solve the cases for those villagers. How does it look? Looks like an ID photo, very serious. This is serious business, guys. Okay. 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 So the first day was quite a learning curve. I knew absolutely nothing about the court system in China. Especially not knowing the language just really left me out in the dark. And it was overwhelming to know that I'm gonna have to get my sentences and my documents right for tomorrow. I only have a few hours and that's a lot of pressure. This is the mobile court. Wow, this is the court. I've never seen anything like this. Really interesting. And a bicycle. I mean, distances are so far. Wow. wow, so you're saying that decades, decades ago you would ride on bicycles to the villages and then only three years ago did you have this unit. That's wow. In the car, I wasn't feeling too good. It's kind of hard to travel in that unit. They try to make it as comfortable as possible, but there's a lot of movement uh, because the road is not even. It makes you a little dizzy, so uh, I was feeling a little sick. Now that we've arrived to the village, uh, what kind of case are we dealing with here today? This is Alright, how do we start? How do we begin? I kind of have to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess that's not part of my job. It's almost 2 o'clock, we've been on the road for about 5 hours already. We've only gotten to one case, we haven't had lunch, we still have to see more people, we probably won't have dinner. Mr. Dunn can explain why do they not have uh, necessarily lunch. If you don't have signal here, how do you get help? <laughs> okay, not very easy, right? Julian
As you guys can see, it's already getting late. We've been on the road for about eight hours now, and we've only dealt with two cases. And so that's part of the whole frustration, you know, find justice for people, for what I've learned today. And it's not easy. I mean, I try to learn some things in Mandarin, but most of the people out here, out in the grasslands, they speak uh, Mongolian. And so that's another challenge for anybody who works in the court. One thing is for sure, I learned a lot. And that's the most important thing. Tomorrow will be a new day. So where are we headed? Okay. The real test happens. We'll see. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> <音>你出出枪口 他以物业、农业生产为主站在一个政府机关的层面去跟他面对的而不是一个作为一个人民法官二零幺九对十一十一二十八啊签字这儿这儿对改枪名字是啊对谢谢你 And as soon as we arrived, they saw the cameras, and obviously the family here. They didn't really like to have the cameras around, which is understandable. But it seems like, you know, after a few discussions, it seems like the family seems grateful that the bank is trying to give them a discount in terms of uh, the money that they're asking for. We'll see in a few weeks uh, whether that is going to hold and if they can finally close this case. So obviously the family is getting uh, the discount. They're, they're low income, you're trying to help. What about the plaintiff, who is the bank? They're going to be losing money because they're not getting all their money back. This is definitely farmer's land. Not only is it remote, but a lot of the people here are low income. And you can kind of understand why it's so hard for them to pay back some of these loans and... Uh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, each case 
is different. Each case has its complications. It almost seems like they're chasing cases, trying to, you know, get somebody to pay back and, and do the right thing. Thank you so much for teaching me, showing me, allowing me to work next to you. Thank you very, very, very much. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This whole experience has been unforgettable. All the efforts and all the resources that go into ensuring that the people do have access to the court system and to the justice system thanks to this mobile court. And so now it's our time to go back, uh, spread the word and, and share what we've learned here today so that uh, other people know how it is, you know, in these remote areas in China. And we're headed back to Beijing. See you there.